Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, December 14th, 2018, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From scmagazine.com, hackers believed to be associated with Charming Kitty have ramped up their activities with a phishing campaign against American officials charged with enforcing economic sanctions imposed on Iran by President Trump. According to a Sertva post, in this campaign, the Iranian hackers have targeted individuals who are involved in the economic and military sanctions against the Islamic Republic of Iran, as well as politicians, civil and human rights activists, and journalists around the world. You can, of course, link to that full post in the SC Magazine story. From Bleeping Computer... With a twist on the scam extortion emails, a new email campaign originating from Russia contains a bomb threat stating that they will detonate a bomb if the recipient does not send a $20,000 U.S. Bitcoin payment. There are reports of these emails being received throughout the U.S. and contain subject lines similar to, My device is inside your building. You know, I've got subjects similar to that have nothing to do with bomb threats. No need to be heroic, or rescue service will complicate the situation. These emails then proceed to state that a mercenary created an explosive device and has placed it in the recipient's building, and if you don't pay the 20000 kaboom by the end of the day. As far as law enforcement can tell, no one has placed their device in your building. From helpnetsecurity.com, Attackers looking to add IoT devices to their botnets are increasingly adding vulnerability exploitation to their attack arsenal. Instead of relying on a list of common or default passwords or brute forcing attacks, they are taking advantage of the fact that IoT devices are rarely updated and manufacturers take a lot of time to push out fixes for known flaws. Based on data collected through a honeypot, it takes less than one day before a newly set up IoT device is hit with vulnerability exploitation attempts, and less than five minutes before login attempts using default IoT credentials are directed at it. From ZDNet.com, guess what Facebook announced? That's right, another security incident involving millions of its customers. This time, the company said that a bug in one of its APIs exposed the private photos of nearly 6.8 million users. Facebook blamed this new leak on a photo API bug that was present in its back-end code between September 13th and September 25th of this year. A Facebook investigation revealed that the private photos of these 6.8 million people were accessible by 1,500 apps built by 876 different developers. Facebook will be notifying those affected shortly. And last up today, also from ZDNet, one that just kind of makes you sick. Save the Children Foundation has revealed that the charity was targeted by fraudsters last year, leading to the loss of a million dollars. It was a business email compromise run to a T. They compromised one employee's account, created a number of false invoices and related documents, which described a need to purchase solar panels for health centers located in Pakistan, and ultimately the organization approved the transfer of close to a million U.S. dollars to an entity in Japan which was used as a front to rake in the proceeds. Now, they did have insurance, so their net loss was closer to $112,000, but I just, I just think about what else those funds could have been used for. That's all I have for you this week. Have a great weekend, and until Monday, be safe out there.